so welcome back guys we have done our project section now we have to work on our services section and this is what uh, this is a part we are going to work on let's move on to the editor and start working on our services section first of all i would like to go with the comments services and then here i want to have end of services let me copy this and paste it here for this end of services let me save it and now let's start writing our code for first of all i would like to go with the section element section element and i want to assign it a class of services C -E -R -V -I -C -S. and then i want to um, services and padding five then i want to have an id of capital letters but the same name services then division assigning a class of container and other division assigning a class of raw and within this I would like to go with the title so end end of end of title and within this let me write here some something which would be um, end of row then it would be easy for me to see that this is a container let me write here for my uh, container also it's just for my convenience because I uh, am um, then I have too much lines of code that I'm just using these ending comments and 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 then now for title let's have a division assigning it a class of column text and not this okay call text center margin bottom three then heading two with a class name of um, mb margin bottom four and then it should be our services and here i want to go with the span element assign a class of title border that's all and now have a paragraph with some dummy text of 10 words these 10 words will be enough for me okay and our title is going to be an end And this container also and now I would like to have a division here with a class of and I don't know that let me check I think I mistook somewhere I do have a section class I'm just checking my checklist we have a section class then division of container then division of raw and then within that I have a division and okay so if there is any mistake then we will fix it but let me write some something in our wrapper okay let me bring it in the middle of the screen 
it will be easy for you guys to see middle of the screen and wrapper class and then I want to go in the division assigning the class of container and then another division assigning the class of raw and now I want to have a division assigning the class of column medium 4 row and column medium 4 and then here I want to have some comment and let's say light, right left so it says left service items or so it says spelling mistakes actually left so it says and then end of left services okay so here I would like to go with a division assigning it a class of left service item and within that let me have a icon like oops division assigning it a class of left icon left icon and then within that I would like to go with the font awesome icon class and this time it would be F A S F A C D I wanted to be bigger than its actual size so twice I want it to be twice than its actual size and then after here let me have a comment that uh, title and description so I should say title and detail and then within this title and detail I would like to go with heading 3 and the title would be design heading would be design and in the paragraph I want to go with some dummy text of 15 words okay uh, let me go with 15 words and 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 oops uh, I want just want to break these lines to make it visible and this is how we have done our first icon and uh, for title and icon so let me copy this paste it here okay and let's change the icon and title so the second icon this would be Troy gate and here it would be mm -hmm. the title would be build and then next in the in this one I would like to go with the FAS FA building and then the title here it would be sustainability I'm just writing sustain or sustaining or whatever you want to write go with that feel free let me save it move on to the browser and let's see okay so we have done with the design the icons so titles and this main heading now what we have to do we have to go and now we have to work with the image so after this I, I would like to go with another division assigning the class and here this time it will be column medium 4 and then division assigning it a class service so 
service pick. Now I want to go with the image and the source for the image. This would be images, center image. This is what I have already saved in my folder, images folder. And I'm not writing any alt, alt text, but you guys should because of the SEO. And the class, I want to assign it, center shadow. And then after this division, I would like to go with another division, assigning it a class of mm, column medium four again. And now I want to have a comment. So write service item. Let's save it. Let's move on to the browser and let's see because we have used image. That image is very massive, so we have to fix it in our by using the CSS. So right now we just we just just bear with this image, and in CSS we will fix the size of this image. Okay. So now service item, and after the service item. Uh, what I have written here actually I made a mistake I think uh, column medium floor and then these are okay I not here here let me bring it in the middle of the screen so it would be easy for you guys to see what's going on division and class of right service item and within this I would like to go with another division assigning it a class of right icon and and just a minute mm-hmm -hmm. I just want to check something. Uh, let me see. Okay. So, okay, let's so write service and then I want to have a here should be the end of end of left service. Here I just want to have some comments. Okay, just to keep it clear that where it starts, start and where it uh, ends, where it ends, so it starts from here and end it from here. It's for my convenience actually because it is going to be very uh, the going code is going to be long, so that's why I just wanted to keep it descriptive for me. Now I want to have an Follow awesome icon here and F E S F A. It should be tasks, not takes. Task and should be bigger than its actual size. And then after the icon, I want to go with the title. This will be heading three and quality. Okay. And then I would like to go with the paragraph lorem 15 words. And let me break it into parts for your convenience. And, 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 and it should be here. Okay. So Let's copy and paste it for a couple of times from right services from here. Copy, paste, and paste. Okay. Now let me just change the icon and the title. So for the second one, this should be truck 
loading truck loading and this would be concrete transport so concrete transport and here in the third one I would like to go with the couch and the title would be interior mm, interior design let's save it okay because these are the items of right side so I think they are here somewhere oh uh, yeah okay so first of all let's set the image uh, let's improve this and then we can see that what's going on here let's move on to the mm -hmm, main main .css here I already have the ending comments for this and let me copy this and paste it here this is for services section and now for the services section if you guys remember we have an ID of capital letters so this is services and then the title model so here I just want to copy the code I can make it a global code because I'm using it again and again copy this let me paste it here let's save it now we are okay I need to change this color so this would be one not one zero one zero one two e save it and 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 okay so there is a border line here now let's move on and start working on the image so the image class was service pick and then img and the width would be 100 percent let's save it move on to the browser and okay it is looking nice uh, it is here we can see this here and let me see in the markup and if I have made any mistake There is a mistake. I have made a mistake here in this section. Let's fix this one. So the mistake I have found, you know what? I don't have to. Uh, I just extend this column, the first one after before the image. I don't have to. I just have to remove it and I just wrap everything here within this column which I don't have to so I have to just stop it here because all the columns have their own uh, have their own child uh, columns okay or they have their own divisions child division okay I just make it a parent container a kind of parent container which I don't have to so now it is fixed there was only a mistake of this wrapper kind of this wrapper class okay this main division column md4 it has to be stopped here I just mm, wrap all the code within this one so which we have fixed now so it is okay and now let's move on to the main.css and start styling it again my apologies for this mistake now let's start working on the service wrapper section uh, service wrapper class and it would be service wrapper uh, inner wrapper actually service inner wrapper and now let's save it and have a padding of uh, sorry padding 
top this would be 30 pixels and then padding bottom would be 10 pixels and then sorry left service and for the left service item I think let me check what uh, yep item so left service item this would be what it would be the position for this position is relative padding right 90 pixels and margin bottom this could be 65 pixels and then text align uh, margin bottom padding text align text alignment would be right and then margin top 35 pixels let's save it and let's see what's going on in the browser so you guys can see before it was like this and now it is looking better not good but better and let's do some let's do some other things with this what are those other things here again let's work with start working with icons so left icon position absolute and right zero top minus eight pixels and color our theme color and this is 01012E and let me bring it here actually okay mm -hmm. and the width would be 90 pixels height would be again 90 pixels text align Center. and then left service item heading 3 let's save it until here and let's see what, what's going on so you guys can see it's looking nice and better better than we, um, before and now we have to work with these headings the design build and sustain so for this let's transform the text so it should be text transform uppercase and then font size not this one font size this would be 25 pixels and font weight Mm, 700 margin margin bottom 21 pixels and color black and now or if I go with my theme color Let's go with the same color. I don't want to go with the black. I just changed my views. So 01012E. Let's see. Okay, it's looking nice. And then let's go and work with some um, paragraph. So left service, left with item P 
the color would be um, let's go with the black one actually black and font size 80 pixels and then here are the font weight and this could be 300 and line height line height would be 25 pixels and that's all 25 pixels let's move on and see what's going on in the browser <laughs> my browser have some problem as I've told you in the beginning and I don't have enough time to fix this but I will surely I will so the left side is done it is looking nice now we have to work on the right side so for the right side let's select the class of right service item and here the position is going to be relative mm, padding would be padding left would be 90 pixels and margin bottom 65 pixels and margin top 35 pixels text align left let me write it here okay let's see okay so you guys can see there is enough space between the image and the description or the titles so now we have to the text line would be left now let's work with the title oh sorry icons so r i g h t right icon and here are the position absolute and left would be zero top minus eight pixels um, color would be same the same color 01012e and the width would be 90 pixels height 90 pixels and text online text alignment this would be center again and let's save it we want to the browser mm -hmm. it's looking nice but we have to fix some things so now that we have done with the icon also now we have to go with the heading 3 and the paragraph so first of all let's go with the heading 3 right so with uh, item and then heading 3 text transform oops text transform uppercase and font size 25 pixels and then font weight font weight Uh, what happened font weight okay font weight would be 700 it could be bold but I just I'm just using the numbers and margin bottom 21 pixels and then color for this my theme color which is 01012e and let's save it let's see what's going on okay so we have the titles 
with the same color now we have to work with the paragraph and for that again here let me bring it in the middle and not right service item paragraph and let's see first of all the color it would be black and font size 18 pixels font weight 300 and line height 25 pixels and done so we have done with our services section let's check the responsiveness of this section also it is responsive I know but just to show you guys then I don't know why I'm using my mouse from down to upwards as you guys can see that it is it is responsive okay the image is in the center and then these left uh, side items and right side you have already seen so it is responsive almost we have done almost we have done now we have our testimonial section and the testimonial section is we have a um, bootstrap carousel and then a contact us form and that's all so let's move on to the editor and start working on our testimonial section so for that let's go to the main page index.html let me remove all these and here let's start coding for the testimonial section let's start from our comments so it would be testimonials and then end of testimonials and i need some room in this these line of in these comments line of comments actually so let's move on and start writing the code First of all, I would like to go with the section, and the ID for the section would be testi testimonials, testimonials, and the class for this would be padding y. It means padding top and bottom. It would be five, and then I want to go with the division and would like to have an ID of carousel example controls carousel I'm just checking the spelling of my carousel example controls and then I want to have another class of also slide then I want to have a data write with um, carousel C R O U S E L C R U S E L and C R U S E L I have to repeat because I made too many spelling mistakes in here also so that's why I'm just uh, it's a reconfirmation of my spellings if you guys can see let me know okay <laughs> and then let me have another division assigning it a class uh, this time I would like to go with the class of carousel carousel okay C A R O U S E L carousel inner and then 
let's have a careful item and then let's say end of carousel item okay and within these lines now let's start coding and first of all let's have a division assigning the class of carousel item active carousel item active and then division assigning it and assigning it a class of container and then division class raw and another division nested divisions class and this should be column large 10 and max auto display sorry and display flex and then justify content between let me bring a table justify content between and padding from top and bottom would be three okay then division assigning a class of align self center and margin left three and within this division I would like to go with an image source and images and here is my first image and alternate text I am not going to use any then I want to assign a class of rounded circle and let me break it rounded circle and this main image I'm going to use it in my CSS and I need to close it let's save it and okay after this let's have another division assigning it a class of review review text and padding from left and right would be a, a five and then heading two class text capitalize ca text capitalize margin bottom free and this des color i'm going to use it in my css and then here i just want to name it with this would be mickey mouse okay let's save it and let's see what's going on in our browser just a moment after let me write a paragraph and assigning it a class of text light so let's have some dummy text of 20 words and then let me let me let me break it into to make it visible within the screen and it's done let's save it let's see what we have done so we have an image or a text with a light class because we are going to use a background so that's why we have we can the text is not visible but when we will change the background we can see this 
So now we need some more items, same like this. Couple of items actually. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy and paste it for a couple of times. So from carousel item to carousel item end, end of carousel item, I'm going to have a second item and I'm going to have my third item. Now here what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the um, I just want to change something and what is that change I just want to change the there was an active class actually I don't want that active class somewhere I so first of all I have to remove this active class here from here um, because I want only one active class and that active class is already here and secondly I have to change the image this should be image um, image 2 and then here this should be the um, Donald Duck let me save it Let's see. So we have a Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. While I have changed, let's see where I missed it. And then in here, this should be the item image 4. And this item active class, I don't need this active here. It, is, it, it hasn't to be active. And then here, it should be Looney Tune. Looney tone and then images change. Okay. Okay. So now we have to use carousel controls, and for that, um, carousel. Controls. Let's see it um, before moving to the carousel controls. Let's see that. Okay. So the other images are because this is the active uh, active one. So it is. Um, we can see now it is visible to us. But the other we have to work on. So let's first work on the carousel controls and then we can go and see that those. The other one, so I'm going to have an anchor tag assigning it a class. Yeah, you know, this class of mm, carousel control. Okay, and then I want to have a prev for the previous button and an href, and this would be. Oh, okay. Carousel example controls. Carousel example controls. And then I want to assign it a rule, but let me break it into parts. I'm just trying to reconfirm my spellings. And then role button. And then data slide prev okay and within this I want to have a span element I would like to assign it a class of care also control prev icon and then let me copy and paste everything copy this and paste it here 
and this should be next so I'm just saying maybe XD next let's save it and move on to the editor oh, sorry browser we cannot see anything right we have to go to the uh, and go to our style sheet mean dot CSS and here let's say testimonial 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 and and of uh, testimonial oops and so I had an ID of in the section in our main section the ID was where is my main section and testimonials so I'm going to select that testimonial ID now testimonials like okay so testimonials and then I want to go with the background and it should be my theme color let's save it okay so you can see that I do have the buttons and the image size is too much it's massive okay now we have to change the description color if you guys remember I had this D E S C O L R color class where I'm going to change the color of my uh, paragraph so this is this would be white and then main image and this main image it, it the width of this would be 150 pixels let's save it and yes you guys can see that there is I think there is some, some problem within with these buttons I need to fix it I'll change I'll go back and I'll see in the editor um, let's go back and check what's problem what's wrong with these buttons actually there would be some problem in the markup I really can't see any problem I don't know if uh, there is a problem of my browser but let's see let's go back and let's style it and then we'll see later after what we can do I, I think that there is a problem of my browser that it is not showing what we are doing here so we have done with the image and now let's go and start testimonial paragraph and it would be the paragraph of this will be found the front feet of the um, paragraph would be bold and color this would be a white and then I want to go with the heading testimonial h2 and font weight bold and then the color mm, color would be white let's save it Okay, and let's move on to the browser okay and it is there is a problem of my I think there is a problem of my browser which is I don't know how it is fixed but uh, I'll, I'll fix it later but right now our uh, carousel is working and everything is looking fine so we have done this one now the last part of our 
page is this contact us form so now let's move on to the uh, editor and start working on this contact us form then for this let's say uh, go to the index page and here let's start working on our contact us section so first of all let me have a contact us and then end of contact us and now here I would like to go with a new section element and this section will have a class of background color I'm going to use it in I I don't have to use this background color okay so just padding five um, because before I when I was preparing that project I had used a background color but that wasn't looking nice so I've changed but I didn't remove that class from here now let's see division and the class of container and then division class of contact us so and another division with the class of raw so we have a background sorry uh, section class container class contact class raw class and now we have to go with another division assigning a class of column medium 11 and the text uh, center class heading 2 and this would be contact us and span element assigning a class of Title border and then I want to go with a paragraph element lorem if some tum, 10 words of dummy text and let me bring it here and this should be here okay division any class of raw contact division class of column md4 and then text center I would like to go with some font awesome icons FAS FA mobile Mobile Alt F A three times bigger and then color color class. Then we will use this color class in our CSS. Now I want to have heading five assigning it a class of margin top three and then the title of this would be font and the paragraph would be plus five five i'm brazilian so i'm using my country code six one and one two three four five six seven eight okay And, and 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 let me go and check after this oops not here let me remove it place it here and after this division I would like to go with another division assigning any class 
of column medium four text fender and then class of F A S F A map marker and map marker alt and F A three times bigger and then again color class for my CSS and then within this same division I would like to go with heading 5 assigning it a class of margin top free and I have to quote it and here I would like to go with address and then the address should be any lorem ipsum lorem Mm, this could be four or five words okay and then again div class column medium four and then text fender and then here I would like to go with an other font or some icon class. This would be FER, FE, envelope, and open. FE, three times bigger, and then color. And let me have a heading five and a class of margin top would be three and then email okay and some some kind of email that would be in info at info.com info at info.com and let's save it move on to the browser and let's see what we have done so far so here we go we have a contact us section and wow why my text is too too much uh, i'll fix it okay i have to fix this issue Okay, so now we have to fix, um, now we have to write this, now we have to create a form actually, so for that uh, we have to go with a division, assigning it a class of raw, justify content center just for content, content center and then division assigning it a class of colg 10 and then md8 and then within this i would like to go with the form class so for this i want to have a division assigning it a class of form input um, group and then input input group large margin bottom free and other division assigning the class of input group Prepend, span, class of input, input group text, 
And within this pair, I would like to go with the font or semi assigning a class of F A S F A user. Let me bring it here. Okay. So okay, here it would be fine. Then I want to have an input and the type of this input would be text and the and the class for this would be form oops form control form control place holder um would be name let me bring it here placeholder would be name and then here another division assigning a class of input input group and then input input group large margin bottom three Again, another division, assigning the class. Let me bring it here so it will be easier. Okay, here it's okay. Class of input group prepend again. Input group prepend. Input group prepend. Yeah, and stuck here. Input group prepared and then another span element for an assigning a class of input group text and then a font awesome icon class FAS FA envelope. And then save it. And then an, uh, add another input class, input type actually, input. And here this input um, type would be text. And then class of form control and then please holder the place holder would be email and let me bring it here to for your convenience okay should be here email and then I would like to go with another division Finding a class of input group and then input group large margin bottom three and other division assigning a class of input group prepend. And then span element and assigning the class of input group prepend and uh, sorry input group text for also my class FAS FA pencil Alt. And then here I would like to go with the text area. And text area class of form form control and then please hold up. And this would be message, rows, 
I want five rows. Let me break it. Okay. Or a moment. I don't need to break it. Row five. Okay. Five rows. And then text area is done. And then here we go. Another input. This should be the type of this input should be a submit and the value for this would be submit and the class BDN then BDN count I'm going to use it in my CSS and BDN block and then median large let's save it okay so now we uh, let's let's check in the browser okay so now it's everything is fine the um, problem we had seen before actually my browser is working automatically I don't know what what's going on with the browser well, I'll fix it later so now it is done we have to style it or set some things let's move on to the main.css and here in after this testimonial section we don't need to write the comments for this I'm just going to contact I'm just going to call the class contact us and then the title border and let me get that title border from the previous section which was this one the services section and let me get it from all the code from here and I would like to fix it paste it here within this block code let's save it and I think okay 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 so we have this line here and then what we have to do more mm, we have to say uh, contact an um, FES class the font also like in class and the color for this would be my theme color and then I want to go with a contact class and I have a, an icon with FAR FAR class so I want the color of that FAR class class should be um, same my theme color and 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 the button contact button submit button so here if you guys remember I had the BDN CONT BDN cont and here I want to go with the background of this one 01012E and the color for this would be triple F and now BDN CONT and hover so when I hover over it the color of this uh, let me bring it here and the color class should be white the color should be white not a class and the border the text should be white and the border radius it would have some uh, radius that would be 10 pixels and then 20 pixels and then again 10 pixels and then again 20 pixels let's save it move on to the browser okay so we have done when I hover over the button you guys can see the corners of the buttons are and they are just changing a bit like it's a nice shape which we have achieved by using the hover effect and okay 
so this is what we have done so far and it's a nice responsive project let's go back to the let's go back and check the responsiveness actually so this is what we have the toggle button and the menu is also appearing I'll show you guys and everything is stacking well and it is looking nice at least to me if you guys like this the carousal is also working so if you guys like this don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button and then see you next time with another topic let me show you this uh, navbar okay so it is also working i'll see you in the next video with another interesting topic so hasta la vista ciao ciao